Hey guys, Davey here from phonebluff.com and in this video we're doing a benchmarking of the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. I'm really excited to benchmark this guy because, you know, the international version of the Galaxy S3 had the Echinos 4 quad processor at 1.4 gigahertz and the US version had the Snapdragon but it had 2 gigabytes of RAM. This one has the best of both worlds. It has the Echinos 4 quad and also it has 2 gigabytes of RAM but not just that, the Echinos 4 quad is clocked at 1.6 gigahertz so it's even faster. So with that said, let's go ahead and benchmark it. Before I go ahead and do that though, I want to quickly show you that it has 1.75 gigabytes of RAM available, which is a big improvement over the Samsung Galaxy S3. So let's go ahead and run the Antutu benchmark first. I'll just kind of run the benchmark and skip through the whole process so you guys can see the end result. Alright, so I'll go ahead and go to the test tab and hit start test. And like I said, I'll go ahead and skip through this whole process and show you the end score. Alright, so the benchmark score is done and it scored a 13,640. Let's go ahead and go on to the next test, which is going to be Quadrant. And we'll hit Run Full Benchmark. Alright, so the Quadrant benchmark is done and it scored a 6,564. Let's go ahead and go on to the next benchmark which is going to be the Lamo. And we'll go ahead and just run all chapters. Alright, so the Volamo benchmark is done. On HTML5, it scored 1791, and on Metal, it scored 629. We'll go ahead and hit Yes, compare with other devices. And you can see it scored pretty much at the top. Um, underneath it is the HC One X. Everything else is below it. You can see the Galaxy S3 over here. Definitely blew the Galaxy S3 out of the water in this test. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the metal test and again at the top with the HC One X being right below it. So let's go ahead and go on to the next benchmark which is going to be CF Bench. And we'll just hit run full benchmark and skip to the results. Alright so CF Bench is done and let's go ahead and see the score we got. So you can see you got 26,000, 7,500 and 14 915. So that's actually higher than the Galaxy Note 10.1 tablet. So really, really impressive there. And last benchmark we'll do is Nanomark. This one pretty much locks it at 60. So we'll see if it reaches that. All right. So we got 57.7 frames per second. Pretty much, you know, at that the maximum as far as what uh, it's locked at at 60 frames per second. But overall. Um, really, really impressive benchmarks. You know, it pretty much performed exactly how I thought it was going to. And it's nice to say that because a lot of times, you know, you'll see a highly spec device, but yet it doesn't perform up to what you would think. This one actually does. Real world performance has been the same. Everything flies on here with Android Jelly Bean. And uh, the processor on here is super fast. The RAM helps multitasking. Awesome, awesome device. Um, definitely the fastest Android phone I've ever used. That's pretty much it for me and this video. If you found it helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you.